Hey, welcome back. It's another day, and I just had a couple McDoubles, so I'm ready to go. It's a big day for the Subaru. That's, yeah, y'all have to forgive me. My camera lens is where you're at, but where my eyes are pointing, I'm looking at the center of the screen. So, starting off great. Today's a big day for the Subaru. Um, I'm going to be doing the wheel bearings on it. <clears throat> I got to get myself used to just staring at the little camera thing. Um, we're going to be doing the wheel bearings today and I'm going to document it because well, I'll just say there's no videos of it being done but I haven't looked so I'm lazy. So I'm going to try to make a little bit of room clear out some of this stuff I know my red cart and v6 Challenger is getting it <clears throat> this red cart I'm gonna move it out the way clear out some trash I have all the trash that needs to go away got the bin out so got my Honda Civic chilling right here and I'm gonna throw some useless stuff in it and then we'll get the Subaru up so you guys know how to jack up a car I'm sure you guys watch Mighty Car Mods or anybody reputable, not some low life in the desert. So I'm going to, I don't know how to make a plan. I'm going to put the car in the air. All right, now that your Harbor Freight jack stands are done creaking, it's safe to take the tires off and we can get a good look at what we're doing. I've already pre-loosened this axle nut. Um, <clears throat> I just need to get the caliper off, the bracket, the rotor, and I'll find out what else. So it's going. We're gonna. I'm gonna get this done. Uh, it's just a couple bolts. Nope, that's a line. I'm trying to look through the screen. It's kind of hard. Bolt here, bolt here, and then... Ooh, a feather. Where are these bolt in? I'll have to look once the caliper's out. Unbolt the bracket from the back of the hub, and then take the rotor off, and then I'll see what's next. Hey, you see some of the goodies in here. The camber arms. That thing... All right, be right back. And I'm back, and terrible things have happened because of this. But the guys at the Saggy Bumper Garage came by to help. Yeah. Uh, don't do that, dude. That's really loud. Our viewers aren't gonna. Oh, uh, see, I just lost three viewers. See, how am I supposed to tighten it if I can't do that? Cause it's up. See, dude, you ruin everything. <laughs> So, okay. got Rob over here with the saggy roller. Yeah, doing, oh, uh, dude, that wide angle got the whole car in the shot. <laughs> got a, a slow car with race car parts. So here we have, I'm just keep it wide angle. We have a four cylinder 2J. Oh wait, Toyota's two, yeah, 2J, Toyota. It's a four AG. Ooh, look at that! What are we putting? What are, uh, what are we doing, Rob? Putting fast car, uh, fast car things on the slow car. <laughs> they ain't going nowhere. Oof. So we're gonna have a slide battle, which means both cars are gonna rev really high and do nothing. The Sleeping Beauty here. Yeah, we need to bring that one this. back. This, I, uh, I definitely need to bring that back. I'm sure Kira would love to have her car back. And then I'll grip everything with that. We got the old, the nice old school. Take the legend out, make it run. <laughs> yeah, you can use those tires for burners. Do some burnies with it? Go to uh, Apple Valley. Oh, like that uh, cop car dude? Yeah. <laughs> Light him up. Okay, let's... Uh... <coughs> Still need to paint these. Oh man, there's no light on this side. Okay. Oh crap, I already assembled it. 
<laughs> so, as my son demonstrates, that's the sound I made when I took this apart. Rotor was stuck to the hub. This was easy to take off. The caliper bracket was not easy to take off. Uh, the four bolts for the hub are hard to get to and everything is stuck. Hammer's your friend. <sighs> yep, hammers are your friend. Or just get Izzy and he'll just pull everything apart. Like <laughs> nothing. That guy's a magic man. So that's how it looked. My son is protesting because I'm holding him damn near upside down. Oh, here's a good example of the hub. <clears throat> Look at all that grease, dude. That's disgusting, huh? Oh, do I need that for my fries? Man, fries anyone? Grease me up, woman! Grease me up, woman! Uh, Finger power. Izzy already got this side put together. Uh, is it rubbing at all? It seized! Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. That might be this though. Oh, I was gonna say the other side didn't make that noise. <laughs> hey, your freaks are low. <laughs> yeah, even, even my son thought it was funny. Yeah, it's coming from here, but I can't. That's fine. It, it'll it'll self clearance. So that's an update. <clears throat> and uh, next update will be non-existent because we're gonna. <laughs> he suggested we do uh, rear wheel drive burnouts with this. Just it'll do it once. But more on this, and that's it. Oh, that's a noise! What the heck was that? Did you hear that? Just heard a loud pop. Oh, my neighbor exploded. What was that? What was that? Oh. The one up? Not anymore. <laughs> yeah, we'll have Izzy do the 240 since <laughs> you have the magic touch for everything. I have a magnet. Oh, dude, I might get copyrighted. Okay, so I'm gonna keep talking so I don't get copyrighted, and I'm gonna walk away. And uh, yeah, I'll do another video. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so Rob's got his new intake installed. No one needs to close the hood. There it is. You're gonna hear all the TVs. <laughs> does it have TVs? I yeah. Let's say let's find out, but I don't have enough. Oh I do have flash. Ooh. 23rd century. Oh, I don't think it has TVs. No? Oh, it does. It says TVs, but I don't think it actually does. Yeah, it does. It probably does. Yeah, it does. It, it might. On the road, you can feel it go. Ooh. 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 You can hear it change noise. Yeah, yeah. Here we are, all done. And we got the JDM Legends. Uh, this grandma drives this one. JDM Legend right there. JDM Legend here. An Acura Legend over there, and a few more back there. Look at all these JDM Legends. Wheels are done if you haven't noticed. And you got the clutch done on this one, and the oh, yeah. uh, blood the clutch on this yeah. this one. And then, uh, what else? Oh, the steering wheel, too. The steering wheel. Did the steering wheel. Get the little button and then uh, get the shifter from the other Corolla. The, the and I changed wheel bearings. How exciting is that? <laughs> and then uh, he wrapped the little piece of the oh, intake he wrapped the intake. The intake's nearly touching the right. water. But soon, gotta get that one going. Mm hmm. 
Yeah, yo. Yeah. Oh, look at the oh, look at those fog lights. Are they fog lights? No, they're uh, well, well, in Japan. Corner lights? Yeah, in Japan when you turn on. The I forgot what they're called. In Japan. When oh. You turn on the they help markers. Yeah, and then they turn off. Yeah, cops ain't gonna say anything yeah. about that. <laughs> If they do, say, hey, man, would you rather me be seen or not seen? Exactly. <laughs> so uh, they sell, like, the little module that you put on there, and it, 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 help, it does that. Oh, but okay. I'm like, I'm just going to do it like that. I don't care. We got the, the bootleg Takami and the <laughs> dollar store Bunta here. It sucks. I really hate that, too. <laughs> like, no, man, that's not what that is. Fuck, man. We got the, the 86 and yeah, the blue Subaru. Yeah. And then the kid in the back that can't drive with the S13. Oh. <laughs> but those who are paying attention uh, probably know what that bumper's from. Comes off of this car, but what version? Final thoughts. Interesting video. Terrible documentaries. The doc, doc, whatever. I documented it. There's really not much going on back there. I'll try to do a quick and dirty what I did. <clears throat> of course, you have to loosen the axle nut. And then, obviously, lift the car up. Take the caliper off. The bracket was... Yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. Bracket was difficult. And then this rotor was seized onto the hub so it took a lot of hits from a hammer uh, after that four bolts and here's the bearing module as you can see it is oh that's crusty you can't hear it but just take my word for it it it's it's bad there's there's play in it too and I'm I'm gonna save these because uh, I want to save the hub, not the hub. The, is this the hub? What is this? Yeah, hub bearing. I want to save the hubs. The hubs are good. Uh, the studs still have life left. <coughs> so I'm going to save these. I'm going to press out the hubs, throw away the bearings. And... Yeah, final thoughts. Uh, took it for a test drive, and it is very quiet now. So, the company I bought these from, well, not these, obviously. These are in there now. Uh, TRQ. I found them on eBay. They were pretty cheap. And uh, not lowest price, free shipping. Kind of cheap, but know what I mean but uh well what else oh I might add to the video maybe if it happens so you'll find out right about now so wheels are going to get painted and I know that because of the way that this is and it took me a while actually I looked at a bunch of different websites to see what the STI color is don't go there um, but for the correct wheel color uh, I'd have to go to Grim Speed and buy their paint but I'm all for supporting a business that does stuff like that but I'm cheap and I know this stuff really isn't cheap but I have it in my hand right now instead of a week or three to five business weeks from now but this is the closest color I could find let me dang I gotta do better at this this is the closest color I could find that matches the Subaru uh, WX STI color and it is HWP 111 gold wheel coating I'm on my screen it's backwards so I have to read backwards so, as you can see, these wheels are very sad. And it looks like the previous painting 
wasn't real thick so I'm gonna get the wheels off um, I'm gonna do them two at a time so I'm gonna take these off uh, put simple green is that what I have a oh, purple power that stuff is good I'm a <clears throat> purple power the rims scrub them down get all of the grease off because I believe this was on the front left and the front left has an axle boot that's uh, letting the grease out so I'm gonna need to pay attention to this one so yeah they were originally black which the black paint is still there and looks good and then <clears throat> once I get them cleaned up I gotta get my masking tape and whoa why is that happening these are new <sighs> break dust okay I'm not gonna waste time I'm gonna it's really hot today I'm gonna show you how how many hot it is and that's in the shade I've had the garage open for about half hour already and yeah it's still over a hundred in here so out in the open it's probably even hotter and I'm gonna keep the paint next to the welder so that way if this thing starts arcing it blows that up but I'm gonna get I gotta break the lug nuts loose so I'm gonna loosen the lug nuts put the car up on jack stands and then get the wheels off and then I'll probably bring you back when I'm cleaning the wheels and uh, we'll go from there okay so it's stupid windy and I'm hiding on the side of the garage but got the wheels cleaned up and now let's take them inside to paint I just got done doing the first pass and I have to say just look have a look at that and I'll even go widescreen for you guys I don't know how I managed it but I actually got the same color so when these rooms were painted before they must have used the same stuff. Yeah, just take my word for it. But wow, what a difference. I'm gonna do one more coat on the outside, on the edge, and then I gotta, I'm probably gonna, I'll paint the valve stem. Who cares, it's my car. And then I'll get the center done, and then we'll go get that one. That's. Probably about to catch fire because it's still 900 degrees outside. But look at that. That looks really good. I'm impressed. I'm going to try to... Oh, let me see. Should I try to do a time lapse? No. This video is too long. I'll bring you back when this room is done. Alright, I'm still a little dizzy from the fumes. But sorry for the wind. So I'm going to do the talking and then show you. So I'm going to show you. That came out way better than I thought it would. And as comparison, that's the old wheel, or what it looked like before and after. So I'm over here doing the wheels and yeah, it's time for new brakes. So I did the right thing and walked four feet, fell on a can of spray paint and accidentally painted the lower part of the bumper black. Dang it. This always happens, man. Looks pretty good though. Since I accidentally fell on the black spray paint. In other news, it's still hot. And in other news, the back's on. Looks all right. So, the breeze coming through the garage is kind of nice, so I'm gonna sit for a minute. Then, oh, it's, uh, it's right there. Uh, I just, where's the other one? I guess I'm dumb. I still left it on the car. <clears throat> I thought I did. I've inhaled way too much spray paint today. Oh, 
what that was. It was pretty quick. Sorry, ADD again, or whatever I have. I can't focus on anything. So I'm gonna not focus and probably go have lunch or get a bottle of water. And then I'll finish the other two, put them on the car, and then the final video will be the reveal. Is that what they call it? Since is that the right word? Since it's already you've seen the process, and I'm just gonna show you what it looks like when it's done. Well, let's go with that. All right, I'm hiding in the garage again because it's windy now. Not sure why that's going on. Okay. I'd be lying to you if I said I was not surprised that it ended up like this. Is that how that works? Is that what people say? No. I'm legitimately floored at how this came out. And just to me, it, it just changes the whole appearance of the car. Have a look at that. So it's the blacked out lower front. It's very subtle. Really won't notice much unless you're right up against it. But then you see the wheels. Pretty cool if I could find some uh, STI center caps. They probably want like nine thousand dollars for them. Look at that. That came out good. I'm genuinely surprised that it came out this good. You have to charge your Jeep. Oh, it's dead. I'm sorry. Electric car problems. away from the wind again <clears throat> but yeah um, if someone tells you that you can't paint a, a set of wheels with one can of spray paint show them this video because uh, there's that I still have some on the bottom and you can tell because it's the bearing inside is moving slow. There's enough for me to do touch-ups, which I'm okay with. There's a few spots that a gust of wind messed me up and I went a little heavy on it. And there's other spots that need to be done. But that'll conclude this video. And... I do appreciate it if you made it this far. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, help me out. I'm trying to put my name out there. I, I don't know. I, I'm not trying to be like these big YouTubers like Hoonigan and all of them out there. I just want to show that you can basically ball on a budget and you can have some little crappy wagon and make it look like something uh ken block would drive probably not or uh oh my god what's i forgot the other colin mccray there we go colin mccray he had a legacy first gen legacy and that was pretty dope then ken block did subaru for a while <clears throat> i think they would like this car and also Mighty Car Mods, uh, Marty has a 4th gen wagon, Super Gramps, if you are familiar with it. Well, that's a pretty good shot right there, look at that. But, yeah, I'm going to end it here.